Ah, merci, David. Ah, au revoir. I mean, do you know any other cashier songs? I wonder. Can you out cash no, me? Those are, those are probably the same two I know. I just thought you had said uh, you were a fan of hers. Mm, not really. I mean, she always looks really, really dirty. Like, I feel like if you touched her, you'd have to like wash your hands. She just Jeez. always look. <laughs> She always looks very sticky and dirty, like, she, like, kind of, like, is sticky, just, just touching her, that probably would be bad for you. You'd probably have to clean your hands afterwards. <laughs> I mean, that's probably true, but, uh, it's kind of harsh. Well, life is harsh. Get used to it. My game just crashed. You see, life is really harsh. <laughs> That too, like, uh, after a crash too, I would've just quit. <laughs> well, that's why you're a weeboo. I also don't really use the word very much, but... I also don't want to offend you with that, but... Just felt quite right. Oh my god! Oh no, I have to do this fucking fight again, that's really great. <laughs> so I have to fight the uh, attack sphere again. That's really cool, mate. The that CPU? Is yeah. That's great. Uh, <laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> Life is rough, as you say. Well, it's okay, though. So maybe I don't know what uh, weeaboo means, but uh, look it, it up. seems like it's not the right way to use it. <laughs> well, look it up. Isn't it? Uh, I mean, my understanding is that it's uh, someone who wants to be Japanese. Mm, no. Means you're weak and all. Maybe I don't understand the words, but I feel it's, it's that's what it means. Why would you say Desu at all? Like, why would you just say random Japanese words? That sounds just really strange to me, like... Using gem random Japanese words, why would you do that? I don't know. Seems like a very strange idea to me. for another uh, like 25 minutes at least that seems likely it's a good time for a kind of story well you probably have heard of that other story of mine the so-called plushy story my greatest of stories you have any new ones well not really you know, the thing is you have to leave your house to actually get stories to appear in your life, right? I don't really do that enough, I think. Do you have a story? Um, I've got a story. That's cool. Go for it. Um, I've got this friend who's always drunk. Uh, every single time I speak to him, uh, he's just pissed all the time he's got some sort of problem but <laughs> when he used to live at home uh, with his mum and dad uh, I went to his house and uh, I was getting drunk with him we're just having like a little bit of a party so it gets quite late and I say to him look man I'm just gonna head off home he's like yeah no problem so I head off home uh, go to bed wake up the next day 
and I get I wake up and I see my phone it's got a text message on it and my friend Sam would text me he's like dude do you hear what happened to my uh, well the other guy was drunk he's like do you hear what happened to Ross yesterday I was like, no, what happened? He's like, man, he's in prison. <laughs> I was like, wow, how is he in prison? He's like, he got so wrecked, and when everyone went home, he just jumped in his dad's car and started driving it. Like, he didn't have a driving license, so he didn't know how to drive or anything. Wow. And uh, when, uh, when I spoke to him about it, I was like, dude, why the hell did you take your dad's car? He's like, I just got pissed and felt like driving. <laughs> He's like, I, I drove two miles up the road, and uh, I could smell a burning smell. So what the hell's that burning smell? And he'd driven the whole thing in first gear, like for two miles, <laughs> going oh like 50 God. mile an hour. <laughs> the only reason, <laughs> like the police stopped him. I think someone phoned uh, the police and says, look, there's a drunk driver here in Lampost or whatever <laughs> going up the street. <laughs> when the police pulled him over, they said, what's your name? And he gave his dad's name. And then uh, they were like, right, that's fine. Cause everything obviously went through fine. And then he, he just says, look, he says, you're going to get breathalyzed because, uh, you know, you, you seem drunk. And he says, look, I'm not actually my dad. I'm, I'm Ross. And, yeah, he got put in jail for a few days. A few years or? No, I don't think it was for long at all. He got let out pretty quick. But I remember him, like, he was just going from house to house just to <laughs> ask a bunch of my mates, can I sleep at yours tonight? Because he didn't want to go home that and face his dad. Interesting. That, that's a pretty good story. <laughs> No, I love that story. I wish I had stories like that. <laughs> well, I mean, most of my stories actually come from my childhood because it seems I was, like, living through a lot of really strange stuff in my childhood. Like, I don't know. My friends in my childhood were really, they were really strange, like the girl. There's one girl who, like, blew up mailboxes and broke tables with her weights and... Just generally, she was quite weird. the same kind of problem where I don't have any good stories or uh, I, I kind of assume that uh, the things that happen to me aren't interesting so I don't really tell stories <laughs> how can you assume that though why do you think what happens to you is not interesting I mean, like most of the time when other people tell their stories I'm not interested so I kind of assume <laughs> the same is happening the other way around I see I mean, like, most of the time when people talk to you, that it's, like, really banal questions like, How was your day? I had tacos for lunch, and that kind of thing. Yeah, that's true. My stories are either about other people or when I was drunk doing something. <laughs> yeah, you mentioned, like, one time you pissed in your mother's door or something, which I found rather... <laughs> Oh clothing. yeah, that was when, um, yeah, it was, I can't really remember that, but um, yeah, basically my mum had heard something in, in the hallway upstairs, that was when I was living at my mum's house, obviously, and um, she came through the hallway, and I'm stood in there with no clothes on at all, uh, completely naked, just pissing all over these drawers <laughs> that she had, full of a towel <laughs> for, for the bath, and uh, she's like, uh, clean that up right now, and uh, I don't remember this, but apparently I went back to bed, and um, my sister had said to my mum, what's Steve doing? <laughs> and uh, and um, <laughs> my sister was like, uh, yeah, what's Steve doing? And my mum was like, oh, he's pissed all over the towel drawer and he's cleaning up just now. And apparently I was in the next room and I was like, no, I'm not. I've gone back to fucking bed. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I don't remember any of that. My dad was pissed the next day. Literally. Yeah, he was fuming. <laughs> I see. It sounds like a pretty spooky story, actually. Most of, I mean, most of my good stories involve when I was younger and a lot drunker. So that's... I don't tell most of those stories. <laughs> actually, I do have one more. Um, I was out drinking with a bunch of workmates uh, quite a while ago now. And... Uh, 
uh, it came to the end of the night, it must have been like midnight, one o'clock in the morning or something, we were just getting ready to go, and so everyone was going to the toilet and everything before we were going to leave. I had gone outside for a cigarette, and uh, all of a sudden I just needed to pee, it must have been the cold air or something hit me, so I just ran across the road, I think I told this story to you before, it's a kind of I just ran across the road and started peeing on a wall, and uh, two uh, coppers basically came up oh, behind me. Oh yeah, I me. remember this story, you won't know. Yeah. <laughs> And they said, uh, what's your name? And I said, John. And uh, they said, do you have any identification on you, John? I was like, no. Nah. So you got a phone on you, John? No, nothing like that. And he's like, right, John, we're just going to have to take down a few details. I think it was like an £80 fine or something for peeing in the street. And uh, <laughs> so they're like, right, <laughs> right, John, what's your name? And like, my heart's racing. Like, Damn, what am I going to do now? <laughs> put my foot in it. <laughs> uh, I was like John McConaughey, and they're right, okay, John, how do you spell McConaughey? So that's M C H O R A N M Y. Um, so he went on his radio and obviously came back false. Uh, it's where, and he started saying, like, where, where are you from and everything. I says, I'm from Liverpool, I'm just up visiting at the moment. Says, what's your, what, what address are you visiting? So I'm just pulling out random addresses from streets that I know. <laughs> uh, this is when my workmate comes across the road. He's like, <laughs> he's like, Steve, what are you doing, Steve? I'm like, no, go away, man, I'm John. <laughs> so, um, yeah, they came back. Uh, I'm not John a bunch of times on his radio and he says um, right John we're gonna ask you one more time because you're about to get arrested um, what's your name and how do you spell it spell out slowly and I says right it's John J-O-H-N and I says McConaughey I can't even remember how I spelled it it was like M-C-M-O-R whatever it was and it came back as fine it comes back okay there is a John McConaughey and I almost I did it I was going crazy <laughs> and then uh, he's like right John here's your fine but you can avoid the fine if like you go to some place um, but by this time, I'm walking down the street with like the biggest smile on my face. Like, I could not believe my luck that I came back. There was actually a John McConaughey who apparently lives in the area. <laughs> Sounds like you have an interesting life. Uh, it's been up and down. <laughs> I remember one of the times that I was very drunk, um, I got into a fight with a Marine. Marine, why did you get into a fight with that person? Um, maybe you don't know this, but you probably know this, but uh, when you're drunk, a lot of things sound like a really good idea. <laughs> uh, not so much to me. And um, I'd probably just recently seen the movie Fight Club. I see. Oh, now I remember. I used to be big into martial arts, and um, you have a friendly sparring session, that kind of thing. So did you like get killed or something in the aftermath, or uh, lost a tooth or something? Oh yeah. I was, <laughs> well, no, I didn't lose a tooth, but um, I had been drinking like the whole thing of Irish whiskey, so I was like pretty drunk, and it just took one punch, and I fell over. Sounds unfortunate. I mean, the cool thing is that when you're that drunk, you don't really feel anything. Well, but you're gonna feel it afterwards. <laughs> I assume. Yeah, my lip was pretty big the next day. So how do you even get in a fight with strangers? Like, I don't know. How does it happen? Well, I didn't really set that up very well, did I? It was uh, somebody's birthday party. So uh, we were just, I don't know, there were people there and one of them happened to be somebody's boyfriend who was in the Marines. I see. And like, how do you get in a fight though? Like, I don't know, how does it initiate itself? Uh, he was um, in Taekwondo or something and... Um, do you just, I don't, I don't know, know tell them like... Doing. He, he was like... <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's just have a friendly little fight. <laughs> that's how it starts. Just that's how it <laughs> <laughs> sounds a bit well, absurd. Let's, let's do this. I don't know. I mean, uh, yeah, like uh, I was still into Fight Club, I guess, and so punching people for uh, fun seems like a good thing to do. <laughs> I mean, really I would, I would still do a Fight Club if, uh, like, it didn't mess up your face. Well, maybe just 
try to not hit people in the face. You know, there's other areas. Yeah, but uh, I mean, like, face hits are pretty effective. <laughs> yeah, but they uh, they're also quite irreparable. Like, if you just hit someone on the foot, or just hit them on the hands, <laughs> it's not gonna hurt them so much. They they won't really get this distorted afterwards. Then it's not really a fight club. It's like a patty cake club. <laughs> well. That might also be an experience. I suppose so. Less violent. Have you seen the movie Fight Club? Yes, I have. I like the ending where like all the skyscrapers collapse and the um, big financial institution just collapse. I yep. did I just gave away the spoilers to the ending? <laughs> you did. Yep. Well, not the, not the biggest spoiler. Oh, that the guy actually is the other guy himself. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah the ending yeah. is not really a big deal. It's, I hate when people say, like, oh, don't ruin this movie. It's like, that movie's been out for 20 yeah. years. It's you actually more like pop it. culture by now. Like, if you don't know it already, you're, like, just... You're not, you're not properly um, cultivated. Like, you're not cultivated. Like, you should know some things about some movies and some books and stuff, so, um, if you don't really know yet, you should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> yep. Well, yeah, I mean, it's true that there should be, like, a certain amount of time that you get to watch something. You know, when I, right before I went to see, I was going to see the new Star Wars movie in an hour, and I was watching this TV show, and they spoiled that movie <laughs> an hour before I went to see it. I that see. Was so sad. Uh, the the that one, um, I feel like with the new Star Wars, it, it was kind of like uh, you could see it coming from like the beginning of the movie. Yeah. Am I happy now? Because entertaining the boat sings. That's not even a spoiler. That's just what you have to expect. I mean, <laughs> you can't really spoil entertaining, can you? I mean, I've not seen Titanic the movie, but I've seen parts of it, and the movie sucks from what I've seen. It's like some kind of romance film. It's kind of pointless, actually. I saw that movie when it came out, and I was young. Let me look up when it was. So, did you expect something out of the movie that you didn't get? I was very young. I was, uh, younger than ten, and, um... So, like, in the movie, there's graphic scenes of hundreds of people drowning. Um, and you can imagine a young kid not having a good time with that. Well, it's just people drowning, like, it's not that bad. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I have no feelings, but when I saw the movie, when I saw the parts where they die, or like, you know, I mean, <laughs> I don't know, it's just people drowning it doesn't really get to me. Like, if you, like, see people's intestines, to me, that's more disturbing than people just droning. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, I mean, it, it, being... I don't know. I was crying to my parents to allow me to leave the theater, and they wouldn't let me leave. There was a solid, like, 30 minutes of people just falling off a ship and freezing and drowning and being locked in cages and stuff. Oh, really? Are you sure that it was Titanic and not some kind of... I don't know. <laughs> uh, it was Titanic. Are you, s are you positive it was Titanic? It sounds more like some kind of snuff movie that probably yeah. was not Titanic. You know what scene really messed me up from a movie as a kid? No. <laughs> yeah, we, of course you don't. <laughs> uh, there's this movie called Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. About oh, I know that. Yeah. <laughs> so at one point, they're floating down a boat in a chocolate river, on a chocolate river. And uh, then all of a sudden, like, all this crazy stuff starts happening in the background, like chickens getting their heads cut <laughs> off and snakes biting stuff. And it's a kid's movie. Yeah. Super, super it seems it's like a an acid trip. <laughs> I haven't seen a movie, but I've, I've heard of it. And yeah. 
I actually know only I know it because in um, in Family Guy, there's like a reference to it in some episodes. <laughs> oh yeah, the uh, well the the brewery, the beer plant. Yeah, the lottery, like and yeah. then they get in the end they just get all expelled from it. <laughs> I just assume <laughs> that's kind of how it also is in the movie. Yeah, it's pretty close. Yeah, I don't really like to watch music because they're too long and they... Like, usually when I watch a movie, I just fall asleep and I miss it anyway. So I don't really watch movies. I'm not big on movies or TV either. Well, if I want to fall asleep, it's quite useful because it usually puts me to sleep. So, that's actually quite neat, just watching a movie. <laughs> I wish I had that ability. Well, do you have problems sleeping? Yeah, I have sleeping problems. Oh really? You can't fall asleep or...? Yeah. <laughs> that sucks. You know, I never had that, but I can imagine it's not... Like, people sometimes assume that that's, like, kind of useful and, like, it might be fun to not be able to sleep, but... You know, it gets painful after some time, so... That's kind of how most things are. If you don't get them after enough, after long enough, you will be in pain. So. <laughs> yeah, it would be useful if it didn't um, hurt. Yeah, you just feel kind of worn out, and I mean, it's not really a physical pain you feel, but it's not yeah. it's not enjoyable. It's kind of like getting kicked in the nuts, where it doesn't really <laughs> hurt. It's just like <laughs> I don't know. Never pure suffering. To me. I don't know. I've only um, experienced food traumas, no physical traumas actually. Uh, did you save after the CPU man, by the way? I actually couldn't save yet. So, um, um, I need to save as soon as I can. Yeah. But I st just still couldn't save yet. Hey, OMG the Pope. How are you, OMG the Pope? <laughs> My favorite username that's come into your chat is the I'm not gay, but money is money. <laughs> There's actually a second great. person who has a similar name. It's, I think it's, um... He's, like, very similarly called, but he's someone else. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's, like, another person. I just forgot what his name was, but... It's kind of, it starts like, I'm not gay, but something else is something else. <laughs> uh, I was at work at the time, that guy joined, and I yelled across to my mate, this guy's just joined the stream, he's called I'm not gay, but money is money, he started pissing himself. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, there's a deagle. How are you? Well, I'm good. Even though this game tries to make me not be good. Is this all right? That man, he means to die. He's your brother. My brother. Your blood. Your only living family. I like how you named the title The End Game. Well, it's supposed to be the end game, even though it might be not quite so accurate. Um, I've just remembered another story. Have I told you the story where um, me and my friend took ecstasy and went knocking on random people's doors at Christmas time? I don't think so, no. Um, yeah, we took a bunch of stuff and. Uh, <laughs> we had our other friend who's got anxiety issues. Where do you um, get a bunch just, of stuff? Like, you can't uh, buy the supermarkets, <laughs> can you? <laughs> some, guy, some guy. I yeah, see. Yeah, basically, just some guy has it. Oh, I see. Um, so you have to know someone. So, yeah. 
Uh, but it's, well, it's fairly straightforward in Scotland anyway. You just uh, have a chat with someone and they usually call us off. Interesting. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, we ended up um, taking a bunch of stuff and uh, it, you just go mental basically. So we uh, started walking around our town. It must have been like one in the morning, just banging on people's doors and whoever was awake. I think it was might have been New Year's Day actually. Um, and we were just knocking on everyone's door and whoever answered, we would just say, uh, hi, we're just going to sing, uh, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and then we just go to the next door and sing the same thing, and we ended up going to an old folks home and banging on the door, and this woman answered, and we said, we want to sing Merry Christmas to all the old people, and she says, no, they're all sleeping, you'll have to go away, and uh, <laughs> well, yeah, we, were, we were saying, no, it's free though, you don't have to pay, it's totally free, it's free. But these, um, this old man, this old woman let us in their house and made us a cup of tea and I still remember sitting on the chair and they had the same fireplace as my mum and I was I was so excited. Oh my god, you got the same fireplace, I can turn it on and off, look, and I was showing them how to turn it on and off. Well in any case, it would seem I have a debt to repay Seamus too. So that's the like end. This guy, land. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Oh I see, I thought it was like some kind of surprise ending like I don't know. <laughs> Like you knocked on a police person's door and they arrested you or something. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually quite lucky that didn't happen. Let's go to the moon. I used to have these two friends that I would hang out with all the time, and like every time it was just the three of us hanging out, we'd always run into crazy people. Like, for the most part, like actually crazy people. Uh, like we were camping out in the middle of the woods one time, and uh, these two get these two guys came walking by and we didn't think much of it then uh, later on we see one of them fall in the river near where we were camping and uh, they come up and they're like oh well you know I need to dry my clothes off we're like oh we can dry off by the fire and he's like well I also need to dry off all these joints that I have in my pocket so <laughs> these two guys start talking to us it turns out that both of them had just gotten out of jail um, for some for some pretty crazy stuff and we were like oh no what have we gotten ourselves into and then another time we were off we were near the I guess near the beach where I live and uh, we were hanging out with these, in this hotel room and then these people nearby started talking to us and uh, they were like oh well we've been here for a week our van won't start and uh, so we started talking to them it turns out that they were meth heads and <laughs> the guy spent the guy spent the entire night messing with the van so like he would turn it on the van would start just fine then he'd cut it off and like pour more oil in there like check something else and he just spent all night turning the van on and off and he's like we, we can't go anywhere man the van doesn't work I don't know if they were perpetually stuck there forever though <laughs> they, may, they may still be there well I guess you can eventually just get up by foot but it might take a bit longer. Just as we planned. You're here too? This battle is ours as much as anyone. Cecil said so himself. And having some idolons along can't hurt, can it? Lydia. I mean, speaking of singing for people, there's actually in Germany, there's some kind of Halloween-like um, tradition where you go, where you do that on like the um, 11th of November. And you like go to people's house and you sing like some kind of shitty music. They're supposed to give you money or like sweets for that. It's, it's kind of like um, harassment or solicitation. <laughs> but it's it's kind of <laughs> it's kind of legal here to do that on that day. Like children do that, and they like ring on people's doorbell, and they sing like songs, some kind of themed songs, and they um, get like sweets for it. Or like some people actually give you fruits and like. Nobody wants food though, you want like actual sweets or like money. <laughs> that's like on Halloween when they hand out toothbrushes or <laughs> apples. Really? That's a thing? Sounds terrible. Yeah, or pennies. Some people hand out pennies. <laughs> they yeah. must have really bad ideas. Like, who wants to get a toothbrush? You learn, <laughs> you learn not to go to those houses anymore. Yeah. I used to put, um,. I used to give out apples with razor blades in them, but then they caught on to me. No. <laughs> <laughs> that was a thing at some point. I don't know how you would how you would do that if there wasn't just like a razor blade sitting in it. That sounds really painful for the person eating the apple. 
guess I... Yeah. <laughs> Hi again. Oh, hi. Um, so, you finally got past the CPU, I see. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I was actually having dinner while watching you. Uh, oh, really? Trying to you know, actually, it. I killed yeah. it once, then my game crashed, and I killed it a second time. Nice. Yeah. So, what did you, have, what did you even have for dinner? Something Just the sandwiches. I'm oh, actually I see. I'm not too hungry. Since that uh, tuna steak for for lunch was actually pretty filling and pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> so when am I supposed to go on the moon? Am I supposed to like go to the center again or something? To the crystal? Yeah, I think so. Hey, pretty much, I think you only have like the final dungeon only to go. Interesting. If you're gonna get a burger and fries, duck feeds, where are you gonna get that? I find this music very strange. I mean, <laughs> sounds so strange. Why do I keep running away? Um, well, why not? How reliable is the running away? How often do you get caught? Well, it just takes some time to run away, but normally, um, normally it works quite nicely. I need no levels. You're all just wrong. Let's uh, start taking bets on how many tries it takes Kainos to get the last boss. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the final dungeon. Kinda sounds like it. Yeah. It has this spooky music. I'm pretty sure you're at the end. This is like a music for like when you vacuum clean your house, kind of threatening and all. Actually, I have a stream muted. Are you afraid of vacuum cleaners too? No, but they are quite. Um, no, me neither. They're quite threatening and all, and like powerful. They're noisy and stuff. Aren't they? Yeah, they make me nervous. <laughs> Are you a dog? No, but I can empathize. I see. I mean, I really like noise. Noise is noisy. Yeah, that's, I have that problem. I think um, there's a word for it. For what? The, the dislike of noise? Yeah, I'm trying to remember what it is. <laughs> Misophonic. Oh, that could be true. Sounds kind of like it's. So like, um, if I can hear people eating, I start to become infuriated. Why do you not like hear people eating? <laughs> Sounds rather serene. Or, um, oh man, this so like, um, when you go to a movie theater, it's like the one place where <laughs> you can expect people to not say anything, but people just can't do it, they have to talk. So why am I fighting a toy robots? 
a mutated toy robot, some kind of mutant toy robot and just killed me. Well, with hobo shoes. It's unfortunate. See, Desert Eagle knows what I'm talking about. There was a podcast I listened to a couple of times, but I couldn't take it. It was like an eating podcast. <laughs> and within two episodes, I was like, I can't sit here and listen to these people chew. It's so weird. It's like a combination of really gross and, um, like, I don't understand why people think it's okay to make that much noise when they chew. <laughs> Yeah, weren't you there when I said never grind? That's still valid. <laughs> Grinding is when you're dead. You mean it? Well, thank you. Well, these enemies here are quite killing though. They kill me all the time, it seems. It's a bit unfortunate. You got a lot of dead people in your party. Yeah. You said you've seen Dragon Quest VIII before? I've seen it, yes. You know, this other French guy called Dream Bummy wants it. It, um... When, you're, when your party's dead, you see them being carried around in coffins. <laughs> I haven't really seen that much of it, but that seems like it could be from there, yes. Yeah, I don't really like the random encounters either, I think there's too many of them. There is tons, I'm. Yeah, it's quite annoying. This doesn't seem like a large amount of encounters to me. I mean, it seems like how all of these games work. Well, I feel this game has many though, like compared with many. Other games don't have as many as this game has. I mean, I guess I wouldn't really know. Yes, that could be the case. No offense though. At least when I die, I just get I can just start where I die. It's really not a big not a big deal. It's just a waste of time, of course, but it's it's not really a huge detriment, really. So even if I die all the time, it's not too bad because, as I said, nothing really happens. Yeah, this is kind of strange. I was, it's like it doesn't really matter if you die or not. What was this Mario? Mario Woods. You know, do you know that Mario is just a common Italian name? So, um, whenever I see somebody who's actually called Mario, I get a bit weirded out because they're called Mario. Do you run across a lot of Marios? Well, every now and then. We have a popular talk show host called Mario Lopez. Oh, isn't he married to Jennifer Lopez? 
Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> I isn't he like isn't she married to somebody called Mario though? I guess I could be wrong. <laughs> I, I don't know anything about celebrity <laughs> relationships. That's unfortunate. So apparently just open all the chests in this place. I can leave and go further into the dark cave. I actually survived in battle once, for once, that's amazing. Incredible. So it's just dragon clothes strewn about this place? Yes. You got some pretty good amount of time in before the last crash. Yeah, that's true. It doesn't ever get less annoying though. Like, <laughs> I can probably expect it by now, but it doesn't make it any less annoying. Uh, th this is because of the port, right? It's not like it doesn't happen to your other games. That's true. It's only this game. Um, when Metallic I was on earlier on, he says that he didn't have any issues, he was playing it for a while. Yeah, I think it's just my installation is kind of broken or something. I think it's got something to do with the port as well, though, it must do. Yeah, I don't know why my game keeps crashing so much, I think I'm just some kind of installation error, like a glitch or something. Probably just have to reinstall it. It might solve it. It's more JPEG. <laughs> Maybe we should just download more RAM. Needs more gigs. Something like that. So is there like um, is there like some unspoken rule about uh, using emulators on Twitch? Mm, no, you can use them. <laughs> as far as I know, there's no issue with that. You can't really talk about. You're not really supposed to talk about the way you get them because you know that's all rather legally dubious. Right. Yeah, I was gonna say, you can probably stream on it, just don't advertise what you're doing with it. I've asked a few times, like, what I emulate you're using, and nobody answers me. A few <laughs> people private message me, but... Really? Like, can't say what one, which one you're using? Why can't you do that? Uh, well, someone was... I was watching a Mario 64 one once, and I said, what emulate is this? And they didn't say anything, but someone was playing a SNES game, and they said <laughs> Zed SNES, I think. That was ages ago. That's interesting. No idea. Uh, it'd be funny to get a uh, wave race on the emulator. <laughs> I don't really know how well N64 emulators work. I was looking at Dreamcast ones, but apparently it's quite difficult. Well, not difficult to get them to run. I think you just need quite a good PC to get them to run. Oh really? It's interesting.
So is there like an um, a recommended level for this area? For the last boss as well? That I should have by now? But probably don't have. It says, um, high 60s are a must. <laughs> a must, that's cute. By the time you reach the final boss, your party's average level should be around 75. <laughs> that's really funny. Because my party result is, um, is 50. Someone isn't even level 50 yet. <laughs> that's gonna be interesting. It's pretty funny how you, when you die, you spawn up exactly where you died, so there's no reason to not continue. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's quite silly. I mean, I think that is, that's a feature because it's from the mobile version where, you know, if you're playing mobile, you, it's, it's a bigger thing to die. Yeah, because if you're playing mobile, you're already a scrub anyway. <laughs> But I, I doubt it worked like that on the SNES version or whatever. Yeah, I mean, if you're playing mobile, you probably just don't even know the game anyway. Like, <laughs> no offense, but I feel mobile games are meant to be not too hard. Mobile games are for people who hate playing games. Kinda, yeah. It doesn't seem like they're meant to be very hard because. You know, the controls and all kind of suck on mobile. So if the games are hard, you can't probably even finish them anyway. So they have to be rather easy to account for mobile and stuff. Also, some people, I feel that more people on mobile actually play, like, try games, even if they like, don't really play games. So if they're too hard, then, you know, that's not really the right. Oh my god, another behemoth. This so sucks. Like, I feel mobile games are just meant for people who don't really play games normally, just kind of want to try them out, and therefore they probably just are meant to be easier. Like I had a friend as a child whose um whose father played, like. He played like Neo. Do you like this website called Neopets? Like in the nineties or in like the two thousand was a thing. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> and like my friend's father played Neopets on the internet. It was rather silly. It was actually quite creepy. That is pretty creepy for a father <laughs> to be playing it. Yeah. Although that was one of those things I didn't understand the appeal of at the time either. I think there's no appeal. Yeah, someone mentioned this earlier, but um, do, do a lot of people speak English in Germany? Because uh, you speak it really well. Well, I guess I'm just uh, not really representative yes. anyway. I mean, people speak English in Germany kind of all white, but I don't know. You shouldn't take me as an example of what Germany is all about. <laughs> I was about to say, do you, I mean, do you speak German when you're not just streaming? Yes, I speak German. <laughs> Why are you wondering? Or like... I just mean, you. Uh, we always just hear you speak in English, but I imagine that, yeah, you spend most of your tongue time speaking in German. Kind of, yeah. I mean, you speak it so well, you, you kind of sound like someone who has learned English and since forgotten German. No. <laughs> but I don't really want to speak German, so if you're trying to make me, it's not going to happen. <laughs> no, it's not like that. I just, um, it's it's just kind of, uh, it's kind of surprising how good your English is. Well, I see. I mean, not, not, not Take the compliment. <laughs> yeah, not, not that <laughs> German's so bad at English or anything, it's just, uh, like, I assumed everybody speaks Germany. German. <laughs> speaks German. Well, you know, isn't that the case for like most foreign countries? Like, 
That's I know. what I would have thought, but you're making it seem like it's an English place. <laughs> well, you can come <laughs> here and see how it works out. Like, uh, like speaking of Europe, I think um, like the worst place to speak English in is actually France because people down there really don't speak too much English. But all the places are probably quite good. Um, like the, Sc the Scandinavian countries in general, they're pretty much very um, Anglophite. But um, Germany, I guess, is like somewhere on the average for like Europe. You can get away with with English quite well here, but not that great. There's like other countries that probably do well, do better. Like Iceland, for example, you can probably just speak English there only, and um, nobody will ever care. But German, not so Germany, not so much. But it's not that bad. I've always wanted to go to Germany and speak in a Scottish accent, but learn <laughs> German and speak old German with a Scottish accent. That sounds interesting. Do you think people would understand me? When you speak German with a Scottish accent? Yeah. I can't even imagine what that would sound like. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I, I I know like some German accents, like, I know what like a French person sounds like in German, but... I have no idea what what his German Scottish accent sounds like. I uh, <laughs> I can't even imagine that. You know, to be it's fair, like um, that. like the German language has a couple of accents in itself, like various parts of Germany and like other German-speaking countries, like Austria and Switzerland. They have like they have like different German accents all by themselves, and I know what those sound like. But foreign places, I have no idea. Like what a German Scottish would sound like. What is always Scottish German? I can't really imagine that. Oh, like that scene in uh, *Inglorious Bastards* where the dude picks out where the people are from. I haven't seen a movie. Oh my god, it's the Triode again. It's a Armored Fiend that apparently just one hit kills me. I don't like this enemy. Well, you guys had the, um, that crazy guy who had the, uh, he had like a dungeon in his basement where he kept his daughters or something. That was Austria, I think. I think he was from Austria, not Germany. Maybe you should look it up. I think he's called, um... I forgot what he's called, but yeah. Actually, I think there's like more of that in Austria. There's like one, um... Like, um... There's like, like, who do you, um... Do you know what he is called, that guy? Or like, what the victim is called? Okay, yeah, the Fritzl case. And, uh, yeah, it was Austria, you're right. But there's also another case where, like, I don't like, I don't know what the first case victim is called, but there's like a bigger case about a girl called um, Natasha Campus, and that was actually like making headlines more than that first case. Not sure if you've heard of that. No, that's uh, what I'm reading it now. I don't think I've heard of it. But it's essentially just the same case, but for some reason that was more f more popular. I think it was like the first case that was ever. That was ever uncovered in this. I just remember the, um, the <laughs> it's like the complexity of that guy's basement dungeon <laughs> was kind of impressive. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's more of these cases, but you don't even know about them yet because they're still like living in their basement and all, which is rather yeah. depressing. <laughs> Wait, how many years ago is that? Which one? Uh, the guy in the basement with his daughters. 
couple of years, maybe five years. Yeah, it wasn't all that long ago. Uh, I think I'm thinking of something else. 2008, it says, is when um, they found the girl. Oh no, yeah, it could be. Uh, I think I might see it on the news, actually. Jeez, 2008 was almost 10 years ago. <laughs> yeah, and I think I can remember that. Uh, I think the reason I remember it um, was because of my mum. It showed uh, a little girl getting carried, and my mum said she looks very happy considering she's been down there for so long. <laughs> and uh, and I just remember that for some reason. I thought, what a weird thing to say. Yeah, that's a pretty strange thing. That well, could um, be. Um, I don't know if you mean if you mean like the Fritzl case or if you mean like the Natasha Kampusch case, which is like another Austrian. Some, apparently they're all like in Austria. I'm not sure, but maybe that's some kind of Austrian thing to just abduct people and like leave, have them live in your basement. Uh, you see, I knew it. The Germans don't like the Austrians. <laughs> 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 well, I'm just making observations here. It's not like I'm trying to paint them in certain lights, but it just kind of seems to uh, to leap to the eye that that's a thing. Yeah, I mean, uh, I guess if you think about it, because, like, the little girl never left the uh, little dungeon thing, so, you know, she wouldn't know any better. Yeah. Talked about that in one of my psychology classes where, um, <laughs> have you heard of that girl, The her name's Bunny or Jeannie? Um, yes, she couldn't walk and stuff, right? Yeah. They talked about it because, like, um, if you don't, uh, if you don't experience certain things by a certain time in your life, yeah, your brain she's can't process them. Yeah, she's like still at uh, the mental level, of, like I don't know, a, a toddler or something, which kind of sad. I think Kashka is tapping. <laughs> He's just holding his headset out the window. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually just typing the 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 text speech, the uh, text speech, the push the talk button. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, I see. Because for some reason I started Final Fantasy VII and I can actually like uh, move my controller. That sounds very strange. Not even my keyboard too. Why? For some reason. Maybe you are haunted by a spooky ghost. Don't you think it's possible? My controller doesn't work in game for whatever reason. Mm, yeah, I think you're haunted. That might be the most logical explanation. Maybe well, call the Ghostbusters. Need to, need to uh, update the drivers. Call the Ghostbusters. No, it, it works outside of it. I'm actually using it as the, my select button is my text to speech button. Uh, but it doesn't work in game. <laughs> you should call the Ghostbusters. Tell me um, what happens. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> need to exercise <laughs> my, uh, my controller. Not the new ones, the old ones. The old Ghostbusters, not the new ones. I uh, read about this other experiment where they had this cat and they like locked it in a in a sphere or something for when it was a kitten, and then like when it grew up and they let it out of the sphere, it couldn't perceive corners, so it just kept running into stuff. That's disturbing. Why does my controller work though? I'm I telling you, you need to update that's... the drivers. <laughs> like, uh, does it not work with uh, uh, X input controllers? No idea. Oh, you mean FF7? Honestly, I have yeah. no idea because I never actually used the controller with FF7 or like anything really. I've only ever used my keyboard, so I can't really say. Are you using an emulator or the Steam version? It's a Steam version, so like that doesn't even make any sense. 
Uh, have you tried blowing in the port? <laughs> no, but the controller works though. Like I'm, I'm actually using it as a text speech like button. It's my select button on DualShock Three. Uh, but I have a program that makes it so it recognizes it as a um, as a 360 pad, so it should work on uh, directly in game. I don't know why it's not working. I mean, like I know on the emulator you actually have to tell it which buttons are which. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I actually did it on the on the on the launcher, the F7 launcher, but and it's detecting my controller on the F7 launcher, but not in game. Doesn't make any sense. And then Kanos must be right about the ghosts. Yeah, spooky ghosts. Yes, I still met this Stein Super. Yeah, this is the same uh, behemoth from four hours ago. <laughs> Could be. I see you, you beaver. Don't die. And uh, maybe you find some eggs. To make a bunch of knots out of pipe cleaners. <laughs> Why would you do that? It's a popular arts and crafts activity. Are you sure? used to do it in, um, what's that first school you go to? Elementary school? I never did that. Like, I never made lots of pipe cleaners in, in any school, really. <laughs> I've never even seen did those. Did you make a, um, the little clay bowl? Hmm, I'm not sure. Are you supposed to make them? Like, what's the point of them anyway? Like. You don't go I to don't school know. to learn how to make stuff out of out of clay, do you? <laughs> it's just something that people seem to do everywhere. I've never really seen any of that. We had uh, paint and stuff. I don't think we ever had clay though. Yeah, clay seems weird. Like, uh, Grade is from uh, Britain and he made a video about it. About clay? about how in school you end up making a clay bowl. I've never heard of that. They might have it these days. It's been a while since I was at school. As you would say, kind of, that's unfortunate. What is unfortunate? That I don't know what clay's made? That you never got to make clay in school. How is that unfortunate though? <laughs> you can't just say everything I say and pretend it makes sense. <laughs> I'm trying to learn. It's difficult though. I mean, not making clay doesn't seem unfortunate to me. It seems you didn't waste your time, so you should be happy. It seems actually rather fortunate. Back when I was in school, it was a nice escape from having to do school. <laughs> well, in elementary school, I didn't really care about stuff, because elementary school is really not... Not too demanding, is it? Suppose not. I can't remember what grade we did it in. It seems like it was first grade. Uh, 
we used to make um, like these. They were actually banned for a while because people kept on doing it. <laughs> but like, you used to go to the sweet shop and get these little tubes full of sherbet and stuff, and people would use them to spit stuff uh, through the tubes. Oh yeah. And they were they were everywhere on the school playground, and yeah, they got banned eventually from the school. Our school actually banned Pokemon cards at some points because yeah, they were disrupting. <laughs> they were disrupting. They the weren't area. disrupting at all, though. Well, they were disrupting like everything in our school. We had like Pokemon card gangs. They would like steal the cards, and there was like some kind of gang fight <laughs> because Pokemon cards. <laughs> really? Yes. It was rather uh, severe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was not ending very well. That's awesome. Like I was talking about the Tamagotchis, they had to ban those because they beep all the time. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't really our problem. Uh, my first Tamagotchi I got, I dropped it in a bowl of Wheatos when I was eating my cereal, and then it went all weird, and uh, my dad put it in a sock, and then put it in the tumble dryer, and then like five minutes later it was a bit warmer, and it was only half working, <laughs> and then, uh, so I got a new one, and then gave the old one to one of my friends, and uh, he got it to grow up to be, it was like a weird thing with two legs, I'd never seen a monster like it, and I thought maybe that's because I dropped it in the Wheatos. <laughs> Well, it could be. And you have some great stories. I like this guy. And he's got Hobbs as his little picture guy. So that's hey. cool. uh, I've got another story, actually. It's not about me, though. It's about my friend. Uh, Mikey, his name was. And we were all in the school playground. <laughs> and, uh, basically, what had happened earlier on that week. Uh, someone was riding their bike out the... There was one entrance for cars to come through, that was the only way they could come through, and someone was riding out the back of there while the car was pulling in. I think it was a staff member, and they actually hit the guy on the bike, and I don't know how injured he was, he was pretty injured anyway, I think. So, like, they stopped people from going out that way, uh, so you had to walk, like, through... It was quite a long way around. It was only like an extra, well, maybe an extra couple of minutes, but it was just inconvenience, basically. So my friend Mikey used to go home every single lunchtime because his house was just down the street from the school. And uh, he says, uh, I'm away at my house. Does anyone else want to come with us? I was like, nah, not today, man. I'm just going to stay in the playground. So like five minutes passes, and he comes back, and he's totally raging. And uh, <laughs> I was like, what's wrong, dude? He says... I tried to go out the back of there, but some uh, kid got knocked over on his bike. I'm not allowed out the back of there. Like, I'm not even riding a bike. What the fuck's the guy's problem? So, I don't know, man. That's pretty shit. He's like, now I have to walk all the way to the front part of the school to walk all the way around just to get to that same area. What the hell's the point in that? And uh, I was like, who was it? It stopped you anyway. He's like, oh, some fucking German teacher. He's like, well, I'm telling you now, I'm just going to go back that way. No German teacher stopping me. And like, out of, out of nowhere, this chip wrapper <laughs> like blew up perfect lined up with his head and it was pretty windy day and it just wrapped around his whole head like this chip wrapper <laughs> and it was blowing and uh, I think that's one of the funniest moments of my whole life I'll never forget so that. So he died? <laughs> no but you got, you got wrecked out of a chip wrapper though. It was because it wrapped around his head perfectly. It's pretty good. One of the fun funniest moments of my life is when Peter Griffin turned his house into a puppet. <laughs> I actually remember that. Didn't he get like money or something? No, that's when he turned his house into something else. From like, um, he turned into like some kind of character from a TV show or something. He did many things to his house, to be fair. I just, for some reason, I laughed for like an hour when I saw that. I really like the episode in which he um, stages like the performance with like the play about Anna, which is the um, android neo nuclear human something. Oh yeah, okay, I remember that one. <laughs> I wonder what Anna is. It's like an I forgot what Anna stands for. It's like an acronym for um, android neo nuclear. Automaton? Yeah, I think it's Automaton. I like Anna. Okay, my
my game is um, totally screwed. <laughs> I would have thought. I'm actually gonna. Yeah, my game is totally haunted. I'm gonna post a screenshot in the chat. In the chat, so yeah. <laughs> What's, what do you mean by, by that exactly? Like, what happens? Some weird graphical glitch. You mean FF7? FF7. Like, where? Uh, it's right at the beginning. <laughs> right <laughs> at, like, uh... At the, the first gateway. Well, when you're in oh, the dude, that's, that's common. I know the glitch. It's not really spooky. That's a very it's minor common? glitch. Yeah. I actually, had it I actually never seen it. So I've had so it many times before. It's not nothing special, really. It just uh, it gets away. It goes away just right after you talk to to Brett Jesse. It means nothing. I don't quite know how you get it, but it's really it's pretty meaningless. It doesn't help you anything. It doesn't make you hurt. It doesn't it doesn't make you lose time or gain time. So it's pretty relevant, really. Yeah, it's just a graphical glitch. Oh yeah, it's gone now. What it goes, it goes away when the game. This is actually my first time actually running um, Steam FF7, even though I bought it a year ago. Oh, I see. I just never had time, and I always play with the original 98 PC version. Is Jesse spooky? Yeah, probably. You know, I feel like these days people just call everything spooky. I wouldn't do that. You have to call only something spooky. Otherwise, spooky loses its meaning. I think you, you kind of started that kind of. Excuse me? I think you started that. You call everything spooky. Yes, but I, uh. I. That's not true. I don't call everything spooky. I call only things spooky I find spooky. Maybe that is many things, but. Not everything. <laughs> Oh, do I find Jesse spooky? Um, well, she's wearing a wet headband. Wet headbands are spooky, so I guess she is spooky indeed. I'm trying to think if I've ever seen anyone wearing a headband. I don't think I have. Yeah, only help us do that. Yeah, not since uh, 90s cartoons. Or uh, gangsters. Hobo gangster in cartoons. Like, I think you have to um, wear a red bandana if you're a blood and a blue one if you're a crip. <laughs> That's pretty spooky. Well, I feel you're not using the, you're not using the word spooky authentically. That's why I don't like it. You're not being honest with spookiness, are you? Metal guy. Mm, I'm the trumpets. Have you been fighting this firebone dragon guy for a while? No, just like three minutes or so. Like, um, I'm no good with celebrities actually. What was that? Cheryl Cole, that's her name. Has she changed her name? <laughs> she changed her name? I've got no idea. Why do you think so? Because uh, I know that she's not married anymore, is she? I don't know. 
Was she ever? I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, she's some uh, singer. Oh, I have no idea who she is actually. <laughs> she looks just like that skeleton, I think. <laughs> oh, I see. Now where you're going? Why well, you mentioned her? Maybe she was like in a band, um, but what band was she in? I have no idea. Is she actually British or? Y yes, I think she is. Oh, I see. Maybe she was in. Um, what was they? It? Uh, sorry, kind of. So they Weight Watcher. Uh, Pies by our uh, pastries by any chance, uh, Macklin? <laughs> That's the wrong kind of uh, pastries. Is she um, known to be part of Weight Watchers? Uh, hold on, I'll try and find a picture. Uh, no, I'm not going to get a picture of that skeleton you just fought. <laughs> isn't she, um, maybe she was in Spice Girls, isn't that the only British girl band there is? Pretty sure that's offensive to British people. <laughs> well, you have to be offensive at times. Why did you add skinny to the search? Because <laughs> uh, uh, I thought her name might have changed, so I just put Cheryl Cole skinny. Google knew what I meant. So is she not skinny all the time? Well, she looks really anorexic more than skinny. Hold on, I could try and put Cheryl Cole fat and see if it comes up. <laughs> oh my god, there's a thing. I mean, she might have been a bit fatter, but <clears throat> she's not like, I don't know. I didn't even think I knew her. I don't think I know her now anyway, like... <laughs> I can't say I know her from the pictures I've seen of her. Uh, that's quite funny um, that uh, a lot of people know who Bjork is, but... Uh... Not so much Cheryl Cole. I thought it would have been the other way around. <laughs> well, I mean, Bjork is like famous, you know, she's a. Uh... <laughs> she's also Icelandic, which is quite exotic to begin with. She's many things exotic, so I guess maybe that's why she's just more well known. I didn't know Bjork until I saw Kaino was talking about her. <laughs> You really should know her, she's, she's a, uh, a pretty special person. Bjork's voice is a, is a bit aggressive to you. Well, she's known to just shout at times and like scream, but that's not really her voice, it's just her singing style. You know, I feel like a lot of Bjork's early songs are just her shouting, so maybe that's why you think she's a bit aggressive. It's called music. Yeah. I really like Homogenic. I think it's also my favorite album of her, but it's very electronic. 
probably like an hour of this dungeon, I think. Well, this dungeon is quite huge, to be fair. It's quite a huge dungeon. Did your game? Oh, I thought your game crashed trying to load there. My game crashed after I died, so um, <laughs> that was a bit unfortunate. Is there any rhyme or reason as to why it's crashing, or is it just do it randomly? I think it's just some kind of um, installation glitch, because it really shouldn't glitch. It shouldn't um, crash that much. Definitely not. Fine Lines is officially in the cool club with Metallica guy. <laughs> what was that, sorry? You're just a cool dude. You're cool with Metallica guy. BC? What is BC? I think that's before Burning Crusade. Or no, that's the uh, yeah, that is Burning game. Crusade. There's been so many. There was World of Warcraft, then there was Burning Crusade. Uh, I don't even remember what was after that now. Uh, oh, right. Yeah. And then Cataclysm. And then Pandaland. Pan yeah, Pandaria. And then uh, Warlords of Draenor. I don't, uh, I, have, I didn't play well, but, um, in one of the expansions, there's like a, there's like this robot that can fly around, so I just, uh, made a s private server where I could fly around in the robot suit. Yeah, that's amazing. I started playing the private server, where you could be super powerful and essentially just do everything yourself. Finally a save point that was more than necessary. I ran out of everything. Probably an hour or so. Wow. Is that percentage on the map how much you feel that it? Yeah, exactly. And if you feel everything, you get like a certain price. Oh, which is okay. kind of interesting. I don't know why, like how that works plot wise, but you get like stuff for filling the entire map. <laughs> it's actually kind of neat. There's got to be another one of those mobile version implementations. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, probably. Hey, level ninety nine, Tom Berry. <laughs> That's an awesome name.
Oh, hey, Astro. Is this like some kind of optional boss? A spooky eyeball? Oh no. So is there like a weakness to this eyeball? Because I don't really feel like I can find it out myself. Is that my cue? <laughs> yes. It's called Plague Hour, by the way. Because Fuzzy is lazy, he doesn't want to talk to me right now. That's why. Cecil and Edge simply physically attack each round and have Rydia summon Bahamut a couple times, the battle will last all of a few rounds. <laughs> What's with all the summons I don't have? That's ridiculous. Uh, I don't know if I've got the right pacing here, but it's just contrary to popular belief when the play card casts haste on a character, it's doing the player a favor. Yeah. I see. Oh uh, yeah, kill it. Just stab it. It doesn't have a weakness to an element. HP. It's a lot. I mean, I can just also just kill a pack, just kill a character so they don't die from doom. Just revive them. Uh, well, it says uh, you can cast stop on somebody so they don't die when everybody else does. It says cast stop on Rosa so she does not die and then revive the whole party. So, what do you even get for killing this thing? Uh, you get a holy lance. Is that useful? Probably so, I imagine Holy's pretty powerful in these older ones. It is Kane's best weapon. Yeah, I think uh, a lot of the later enemies have don't have a lot of elemental weaknesses. So stuff like Holy really helps.
I mean, it seems the enemy doesn't actually attack you. He just... Yeah, he probably just waits for you to die. So I don't have to heal, that's good. It says um, the, the thing casts haste on you, but um, it's actually bad because it makes doom go faster, so you might cast slow or something on yourself. Yeah. Someone speed runs Hearthstone. <laughs> Or they're at least speedrunning, like the single player stuff. Such a weird game to speedrun. How would that work? Just get all the cards or something? <laughs> That'd be quite easy if you were rich. Yeah, hey, uh, no, nah, he's doing like the single player adventure stuff, so he beats like all the computer bosses in a certain adventure. Just odd seeing splits next to this game. Uh, it was um, <clears throat> oh excuse me. Uh, it was one pound ninety nine to buy uh, two decks, and um, I only thought that you got one for one ninety nine, and uh, I thought okay, I'll just get one then and see what it's like. And then I realized that you got two, and I was like, oh man, that's pretty cool. All right, just another two pound, then it's not that much. <laughs> and I think I've bought like three or four of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how they get you. Yes, it is. So, hearts don't cost money. How surprising. No, you can. Uh... Sorry, Fickman. Uh, yeah, it's free. You can play it for free. You never have to spend money, but in order, yeah, to stay relevant with the game, you have to spend money. <laughs> That's how they get you. I see. Well... Especially when you play someone and they've got like a really kick-ass card, and you're like, oh man, I, I want something like that. Isn't that how um, drug lords act? They give you like the first... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. They give you a hit, and then you yeah. want more. The first is like for free, and then they just ask, they can like expect it to come <laughs> back. Yep. That's uh, I think the first time I got one of the golden cards, which like they're animated and they move and stuff, I was like, oh, that's <laughs> awesome, and I haven't stopped playing since. <laughs> it's just like, I, wow. Yeah, it is a bit. I got two of those gold cards, and they were exactly the same as the other ones I had, except for the other ones weren't gold. They weren't moving. Mm -hmm. So can you reflect Doom? Because if I can, then this enemy will not be very hard. I don't know if you can reflect Doom. Somebody I said so. I doubt it, because it would be the first sentence on every guide about this boss, and it's yeah. not. Yeah. actually true. Um, it says at the end <laughs> of the page on the wiki that is uh, have Rosa start the battle by casting Reflect on a party member <laughs> preferably herself so that the opening Doom spell is reflected. Well you have to get a first turn though, it's unlikely. But you can just wait until like, you know, you can just kill yourself first and then um, revive yourself and stuff. Well, 
it says um, the doom spell isn't actually reflected at the monster, but um, if it reflects off of one of your characters, um, then the monster will just keep casting reflect and resetting the counter. Oh. Well, that sucks. We're just gonna try it nevertheless. So, yeah, because your ninja doesn't have reflect, it should be, um, seeing it and the other two won't die. Sorry, Fuzzy. He actually copied and pasted the exact thing I just read. Sorry, Fuzzy. That's funny. I just saw that. Like, two minutes before I read it. is low on kind energy so he's not really uh, reading well I'm gonna see what happens I just cast reflect on myself what should happen though I mean he should cast doom and then he should just kill himself no why does it, it just bypasses reflect that's what happens why does it happen though like somebody said it, it can be reflected but it doesn't get reflected? It's, it's reflected, but it doesn't stick to the Zubat. It, uh, the idea is that um, well, actually, it's reflected. It wasn't even reflected, it just kicked. Oh, it look, just, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Went right through it. It's literally inaccurate, what somebody says. <laughs> Maybe that's the SNES version. Maybe I should sue someone. <laughs> Maybe your game's haunted. Yeah, there's many explanations and many possible courses of actions to take out of that. Well, then I can just not get. Well, I guess I will just not do this then. It's garbage anyway, it looks like. Oh, you don't have to fight that boss? I was told I don't have to fight this boss, exactly. Yeah, and oh my god, it's another fucking bone thing. What is this? Bone convention? <laughs> That's another kinosism. Oh look, this is this game's version of Bad Breath. Pretty weird. <coughs> Where'd everybody go? Oh, there they are. I have cute little fox. It's adorable. That is like the most annoying status effect in any game. I don't really feel like beating this thing. I'm just gonna wait until I die. Tonberry says you don't have to fight it either. Yeah.
boss. Am I even close to the final boss? Because I'm still um, not really seeing the end of this. <laughs> You're getting uh, one death at a time. Seems so. Yeah, I think you just have to find the guy. You know, it's funny, Fuzzy, how you try to make those those French jokes yourself. I'm not sure if they work so well if you make them yourself. Oh no, it's, it's the Japanese toy robots from death. From hell, something like that. Yeah, that's a Megazord for sure. I don't have strong equipment. Why do you think I would have such a thing? Of course I don't. A delusional. That robot looks a bit like a Quick Man from Mega Man, Mega Man I, 2. I never actually played Mega Man, so I have no idea what Mega Man is all about. Oh yeah, the one who should have been called Cut Man or Scissors Man. Uh, I'm not sure. He's a lot smaller than that though. Uh, but he's got the same sort of colors and the same antlers on his head. Antlers? Yeah. <laughs> Why would anybody have antlers on their hats? Unless they're oh, yeah, right. They're uh, Kamiya sunglasses, or whatever those are. I don't know what they are. Well, why should I heal myself? There's not really no point in that. There's an I mean, interesting enemy. Yeah, I mean, this, en this dungeon seems pretty um, computer-inspired. <laughs> Many um, computerized enemies, it seems. A giant head. That's like well, a Terminator's head or something. <laughs> Betting is illegal, isn't it, Fuzzy? This fuzzy is so pessimistic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't think you'll get an invitation to my birthday party next year. <laughs> Bad attitudes. <laughs> It's like, uh, it's serious business for Fuzzy. Well, you are what you call realistic. I'm fighting some weird fish now. Looks like rainbow tuna. A little bit. Have you seen tunas in that are not in edible form? Mm, yes. Because uh, that's not really what they look like. Have you seen them? Yes, I've actually uh, deep sea fished some out of the ocean. Really? How do you know it was tuna though? The uh, one of the people who drove the boat told me it was a tuna. Maybe they were just lying to you to come to like keep up this delusion of yours with tuna. It was like some kind of <laughs> complot. I guess it's, it's always conspiracy. Uh, at my work, there's a really funny fridge. It's just this big fridge, and pasted around the side of it, it's like Happy Easter with like loads <laughs> of Easter eggs. But then you look inside the fridge, and it's just filled with fish. 
Wow. <laughs> I'll take a picture of it if it's still there. <clears throat> Yeah, you shouldn't really trust people when they say you when they tell you stuff. They could just be lying. Well, usually I I don't. I'm what you might call a skeptic. Is that like a vegan? Like a what? Like a vegan. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> well, who knows? I tried to be vegan for about a week. Really? Why did you try that? Are you even vegetarian though? Because that's what you probably have to be in the first place. No. I You're not even vegetarian. <laughs> How did you even try? How did you even assume you could be vegan then? I was an impressionable young lad. I see. What did you even try to accomplish with being vegan? Um, you know, save the animals or something. Well, that's just being vegetarian though, isn't it? Vegan is just way more than being vegetarian. Well, the, uh, the argument is, um, like milk, for example, is not vegetarian. But, uh, or it is vegetarian, but um, it's still yeah. uh, bad for the cows or something. Exactly, but maybe you should just start little, you know, like small steps. Start, like, maybe being vegetarian first. Eat a salad. <laughs> yeah. Don't overdo it. Well, I'm not worried about it anymore. I eat meat all the time. <laughs> mm -hmm. I see. I think I gave up chocolate once for like two days. <laughs> That's wow. a very big That's sacrifice. Impressive. Why did you do that though? Did you do it like intentionally? Or did you just not have It was a um... I don't know why. <laughs> so were you even doing it intentionally? Or did you just happen to not eat chocolate in two days? Like, was it just a coincidence or... <laughs> did you actually like make the decision to give up chocolate for two days? There's like uh, <laughs> I just thought to myself, I'm not going to eat chocolate anymore, and then <laughs> two days later, I, I wanted chocolate again. Oh, I see. How trustworthy can your na how, how trustworthy can your advice be if your username is fuzzy? You know, do you want to hear Stogard Fuzzy? He actually was called Lexi before, but his username, he just lost the password to it, he says. So he's also very clumsy, it seems. It's only 20%. So, you know, do you know how Twitch works? It's kind of uh, random what happens on any given day. I did notice after I told my story when I pissed on my arms <laughs> covered uh, <laughs> that it went down to 60. <laughs> Maybe it was too gross for my chat. It's, it's a pretty. Um, it might be just a bit too spooky actually. But I don't know. I'm fine with it. You know, true art is, is painful, so I understand it. <laughs> you have to scare women people. 
do uh, do they pay you by like the viewers or the time? Does it work like YouTube? Who pays me? Doesn't <laughs> doesn't Twitch pay you? That's true, but um, they pay me like for the ads on like the way they do it on YouTube. So they only pay me if they only pay me if you actually like see ads. Do you see ads? Yeah, I see ads. Every now and then. Yeah. <laughs> I see the ads when I'm on mobile. I see. Yeah, I I got them quite a few times, but um, today I've not had any for some reason. Just when I load up. But yeah, that's how that is, it's kind of it's actually more or less equal to how um to how YouTube works, with like in terms of ads at least. I thought YouTube also paid based on um, like how many minutes you get viewed or something like that. Is that really relevant? Isn't that only essentially another way to see like how many ads you get? I I actually don't know. You know, I think it doesn't matter how long you watch because um, if that mattered, you would just probably just make long videos, right? Like some videos on YouTube are really very short, like one minute long. Like some channels actually have like only such short videos. Like you know, there's this one channel called um, How to Basic, and all their videos are like one minute long or less. But they're pretty um, pretty famous. Um, usually. Uh, well, I think the case anyway, like if you put a half an hour video up or something, people's attention span is just not going to last that long. So if you make like lots of little videos, like two minutes, I think there was some sort of study or something that people would give up after like three minutes or something and go back. Yeah. Uh, so that's why you get so short videos so people can, you know, sit through the whole thing. Yeah, that's true. People just aren't really meant to be patient with stuff, <laughs> videos and stuff. Well, uh, for example, like people used to make animations on YouTube and they could make a living off of it, but uh, they, they, YouTube changed their algorithm and then they can't do it anymore. Animations? What do you like exactly mean by animations? Cartoons. They can't live off that anymore? Why? Because no. they have like less viewers or like, what exactly? Uh, it, it has something to do with, um, you know, it takes a while to make those animations, obviously, and um, like people who make these two-minute videos where they just throw fish around and eggs <laughs> uh, and they can pump out like hundreds of them a month it's a, it has something to do with how many videos you make and how many times they get watched or I I don't see, know, yeah. something like that well life yeah, is hard it was kind of funny for the first couple of videos but um, the joke kind of ran out <laughs> Well, he actually just kind of got new after some seasons. Oh, you want to see an ad? Give me a second, I can make you see an ad. Oh, dang, You're you welcome. can control when the ads show? <laughs> yes, I can. I have this power. Dang. Can Which you key is it you press? Oh, I can just type it in chat, actually. I can summon the ads from within my chats. It's like a special command you can type that gives you an ad. It's called commercial. <laughs> Couldn't Which you like get 200 people to watch you and then just keep running ads for like six hours? Exactly, but isn't that a bit, you know, I don't know what the right word for that is. Exploitative? It's grinding. <laughs> yeah, but also like if you do that, like people are gonna not come, not gonna come back. Isn't that the way you would feel if you just saw ads for like six hours straight, nothing but ads? You know. If we um, apologize for the inconvenience, and the stream will be back up and running ASAP, and then just keep spamming adverts again and again and again, <laughs> for like half an hour, and then maybe like half an hour, and then it'll say he's gone offline or something, and then just keep spamming adverts again. Yeah, I mean, I understand your your line of thought, but it, like, you know, just having too many ads kind of destroys your audience. They don't really want to see that, so they're not going to come back, I think. So, like, from a, from a like, um, Economics perspective is not going to be that optimal to just show that many ads. Like probably at some point, it's like a maximum you can do, 
that people are fine with and that you can like make the most money of it. But after that point it just breaks because people are just gonna go away and not come back. Would it make a difference if you had a viewbot uh, and you put your views to like, I don't know, 10,000? Well, viewbotters aren't actually real people, they don't actually watch your stream, I see, I believe. So like, they don't actually like get ads. So like, you don't even profit from that. You, you, like, you don't get any money from viewbotter views. That's because they don't view any ads. I just, um, disabled my ad block for you. That's really hot. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah. Can you choose between adverts, like which ones you would like to view? No, I can only determine the length of the uh, commercial break. I can give you like multiples of, six of 30 seconds. And you can only actually give them every 8 minutes. I think you can like circumvent it in some way to like give you constant ads, but you're supposed to only have ad breaks every 8 minutes. Or longer intervals, longer than eight minutes, and you, I can only like sh determine like how long the ads are gonna be like so thirty seconds, sixty seconds, up to um three hundred seconds. By the way, did you just beat the final boss? <laughs> well, I didn't even beat him because I didn't even control the characters, so I don't think so. Definitely not yet. <laughs> yeah, it looks really strange right now. Play another ad while this cutscene is going. <laughs> My last ad was two minutes ago, I can't play another ads. <laughs> <laughs> More ads. I mean I feel like you believe that like playing an ad is gonna make me witch, but if you wanna know the truth like the way it works to like to get like a certain amount of money for like 1000 views that's that we ads. so like a new business like sign up to like give you um, about like around three dollars for like 1000 vi ad views so you know you can like do the maths if you like have 10 people like watching ads it's not gonna be that much it seems like um if I subscribe, I should automatically be exempt from the ads. Well, it used to be that way, didn't it? Yeah, it used to be that way a long time ago. Cause I get them. I don't get them at home that often, but when I'm at work, I get them all the time. <laughs> it's funny. I don't know why. It, uh, it surprises me how all you people can just be at work and watch Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I just have it. There's only some running in the background. Yeah, there's only some some jobs that that you can have like stuff working on the backgrounds, but you know, if you're like if if you're like a mortician or I don't know, like a uh, <laughs> an undertaker, you probably can't watch Twitch while you're at work. A pilot. Well, yeah, I, I suppose you could, yeah. <laughs> Just depends on what you're doing, I believe. Just make sure you're not watching it while trying to land a plane. Well, I mean, like, I used to work, I used to have a job. Uh, at a mort, at a funeral home? Or? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I, I see. I used to have a job <laughs> where I had the means to watch Twitch all day, but, um, you know, it was frowned upon to use the internet for, uh, not work. Frowned upon? This doesn't even mean anything. People can phone at you all day and nothing happens. Well, uh, eventually those frowns turn into you get fired. Oh, I see. Well, that's different. That is the happiest last boss I've ever seen. Did, what, did I just kill the final boss? Like, I'm not uh, sure. <laughs> I didn't even I do anything. I don't even know who it was. I didn't even do anything. <laughs> it's so weird. That's Zen Wu Wei. Like, did the game just glitch because he didn't fight the boss? Like, I don't understand this game. <laughs> really confused. It's not over yet. Oh, I see. That thing I mean, really, uh, 
Unless I just rip the final few bosses out. <laughs> So that's his brother, right? That seems yeah. His brother. How did you know that, Kainos? I just like to say yes to our questions. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, this is the final boss. Yeah, you have to beat him with one HP. <laughs> On one character. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I man. assume there this we go. Is... Well, this still sucks. So, uh. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna die, and then we're gonna have to watch that three minute cutscene. <laughs> I feel so, yes. I pretty much assume so. Perfect time to play some adverts. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're trying to help you out here, kind of. It's very nice of you. You can just watch my YouTube videos in the background if you want me to, uh, you know, because there's also ads on those. Just go through my entire YouTube, YouTube library and just watch all my videos on YouTube. <laughs> <It's gonna help laughs> just me. keep refreshing. Yeah. Was there at least a quick save after that scripted battle you had? I have no idea. I probably, I mean, I don't, I would hope so, but I don't think so. If they're nice, they would put a continue right before yes. this. Yes. Uh, Are they nice, though? Who knows? They don't really seem nice if they make a game like this. They seem d more drug than nice. And not all drug people are nice, are they? Suppose not. Um, yeah, I can do stuff now, but what should I even do? Should I use shell, protect, whatever? I have no idea. Oh, let me look. Uh, you gave me the strats, Tom Berry, but it's too much, I couldn't read all of it. Can you, like, paste it in, like, smaller increments? Like, don't paste the entire thing in one go, because I can't read that. At the outset of the battle, you'll need to use the crystal post haste. Did you do that? I don't remember that. If you don't do that, he's not susceptible to damage. <laughs> that must be a joke. <laughs> uh, he gave you the crystal. It's probably just an item. I mean, what do you miss the wall most? Like, where does he come from? What is his thing and stuff? Uh, this guy says he is evil incarnate. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. It's like most Final Fantasy final bosses, where they just come out of nowhere, make no sense, and you're not yeah. really sure why you're fighting them. no weaknesses but also has no strongnesses either. I mean people tell me I should do some stuff but I don't even have the stuff I should use. This is kind of pointless really. I don't even have stuff. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing. I don't even have the stuff I should be having.
there's some kind of exploit you can use with the summons, but you don't have any summons. Exactly. Well, does um, Artemisia make sense? Like, Artemisia has essentially no backstory, she's just some kind of random spooky future witch. Mm -hmm. Nine did that one too. The first time I played through Nine, I was like, who the heck is this floating blue guy, man? <laughs> yeah, he doesn't no. have too much backstory either. If any. <laughs> It's just that whole trope of like, you kill who you think is the final bad guy and then you just hear a voice out of nowhere. <laughs> I'm actually the final bad guy. It looks like uh, an afro that's been dyed blue. Uh, with a bug's head sticking out of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or like an exaggerated kabuki mask. This is a really unimaginative final boss. And the scary thing is, the developers probably all sat around the table and had a drawing of it and said, yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's scary, you know, <laughs> that's let's go for that. Guy. <laughs> I haven't used the crystal yet. Are you doing any damage to it? Nope. How do I even use the crystal? Where do I have the crystal? Uh, he, it should be in your item. Somebody should have it. Oh, there I go. I actually have it, so I guess that's good. So I'm just gonna pray some more to get my MP back and I guess I'm gonna start fighting this thing. So I was told to use um, Reflect on myself, is that really necessary? Are you asking me? I'm asking like the entire world. Somebody might know. The guides I read didn't say anything about uh, reflect. any Fuma shurikens? I do actually, yes. Yes, you should throw those. Those do a lot of damage. Oh 
Oh my god, he looks even spookier now. Oh hell. What is this thing? That's not a bad looking thing. He nullified my magical attacks, that's really sad. Oh wow, look how he changed. He grew up into a beautiful swan. Yeah, beautiful is very relative. <laughs> Subjective. I wouldn't mind looking like that. Well, you'd probably be very special in that case. <laughs> how would you get out? The, how would you get out of the shower? You probably wouldn't have to shower if you looked like that. Yeah, exactly. Kind of like an overweight lobster. Those are the best kind. Oh my god, my tire party just died. Suppose if you were, uh, if you could summon stuff, you could just summon rain on your stuff. That would be like a shower. <laughs> yeah, that seems likely. Yeah. If I'm evil incarnate, I don't think I'd be worried about uh, being clean. How much HP does he have? Hundred and fifty thousand. Are you serious? <laughs> Is that a lot? That's a lot. I guess I'll find out how much I have to do. Oh my god, all the fucking text I have to go through again. This is horrible. Just horrible. Ooh. How was Cain living? Was he just jumping when that attack went off? Yeah, exactly. So you do have to start from that scripted battle? Yes. This is gonna be awesome. <laughs> Super awesome. This is gonna happen like five or six more times. <laughs> Probably like <laughs> I might I might even have to like grind or something. Like maybe even get more items. Like maybe do <laughs> maybe do something useful actually. You know, actually, I think I will just have to um, retreat for now and um, lay in a bed or something. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna do that. See you and maybe do that as well. Good luck. Don't die. Alright, see you, ma'am.